Peace be with you. Here is Father Laszlo. Once again, I would like to talk about uh, prayer during this time uh, again. But right away, I would like to offer you and invite you uh, join us uh, on Thursdays, Thursday morning, Thursday evening for our online Bible study on prayer. Uh, or if you visit our website, holyfamilywithby.ca, you see the three conversation, what we do now online. We uh, pray with you, uh, we uh, guide you how to, uh, to uh, reach out uh, God and build up uh, a relationship with Him. So this is my, uh, my offer to you. In the past I said a few times already that prayer is not a half... Uh, hearted ritual resuscitation of words. It is an outpouring of the heart. First and foremost, the prayer is an expression of our relationship with God. God is our Father and we are His children. As such, we are dependent on Him. Therefore, it is a relationship of dependency. God gave us free will. And he uh, generally uh, keeps out of our lives until we acknowledge the relationship. We learn this from the opening sentences of the Bible. The second chapter of Genesis, uh, verses uh, 4 and 5, we read, This is the history of the heavens and the earth when they were created. On the day the Lord God made earth and heaven. All the plants of the field were at this time in the ground, and all the vegetation of the field had not yet sprouted, for the Lord God had not brought rain upon the earth, as there was no human being to work the soil. One of the famous rabbi explains that God had not brought rain because he wanted the first human being to pray for it. Indeed, when Adam recognized the need for rain in the world, he prayed for it. This is the first hint that the basic relationship between humanity and God is expressed through prayer. When Adam prays, he acknowledges that he has a relationship with God. He is dependent on God, and he must ask God for what he needs. As soon as Adam prays, God begins to relate to him directly, and of course, answers his prayer. Indeed, it rains, and all the vegetation begins to sprout. So, you see how it works. We human beings don't uh, really pray to have our needs met. We have needs in order that we pray. This is how uh, we remind ourselves that God exists. This is how we build a relationship with Him. The Bible teaches us that what happens to us is a direct consequence of our relationship with our Creator, because it is God who is in charge of all that happens in the physical world. Therefore, what happens to me is determined by my relationship to this master of the universe. My relationship to this master is monitored by my prayers because that's how I interact with him directly and immediately. It is how I speak to him. It is how I hear him. It is how I develop an emotional relationship with him. And, as any adult knows from life experience, for any relationship to stand a chance, it has to be real. The shortest prayer recorded in the Bible is the prayer of Moses, when he discovered that his beloved sister Miriam has been afflicted with leprosy. He cries out to God, 
from the depths of his being. Please, Lord, heal her now. His prayer is simple, and it captures his anguish and his complete faith in God that his prayer can and will be answered, and it is. One of my uh, prisoners, Kate, uh, had such an experience when she learned that her grandson had been diagnosed with brain tumor. The doctors advised that there wasn't much hope, but Kate refused to believe it. She said she began praying for a miracle with all her strength. She said, my intensity was of the highest degree there could be in this world. I sobbed my heart out, not once, but a hundred times a day. If I rolled over in bed, I prayed to God. If I sat up in bed, I prayed to God. I was praying every minute, and I didn't stop praying. Not only that she asked everyone she could think of to pray to, and it paid off. God answered her heartfelt prayer. Her grandson underwent successful surgery and radiation treatment, and he is well now. But Kate hasn't stopped praying. One of the most uh, important, probably what I can uh, uh, say or what I would like to encourage you to find a secluded place for prayer and there trying to address God from the heart, not worrying too much about the words at first. As often as you can, take a trip to the church to pray. When no words come, do not despair. Come back day after day to your secluded spot and wait in the church. Especially when we have the Eucharistic Adoration, just like every first Friday from noon until the evening Mass, 7 p.m. Just wanting to speak to God is in itself a very great thing. Even if all you can say to God is help, it is still good. Repeat this over and over again until God opens your lips and words begin to flow from your heart. Be real before God and He will always meet you halfway. God bless you.